Welcome pearls to the 2024 aka 71st Boule Vendors Hall or Reveal. Okay. Everyone got into 24 hours is just not enough. But here again is our reveal of our items. And as I was looking over my items, most of the items I got were um are items that I can wear. Um so items of clothing primarily. Um, that will do quite well in the office and not necessarily blare aka they will just subtly signal aka I like that so the first item I think I got was a pink and green um, pink green shawl oh yes here it is down here I got this lovely pink and green shawl from NL Greek by Nikki Lauren, I think it is. But again, just very subtle, very cute. You can wear it over uh, under covering of pink or green um, pants or skirts or jeans or dress or whatever. But again, a beautiful pink and green shawl from a, sort of a short sleeve version. And I'll try this on in the end for you to see. But I love it. Um, looks um. What do they call it? They called it something. A pretty brush. A pretty brush. So it's like a kind of paint brush stroke. Uh, looks hieroglyphic or even like, like it might be Chinese characters, but again, it's just um, like a strokes, brush strokes. So that was pretty. And again, this is from NL Greek. It's from NL Greek. And that was one of the first items I bought. And again, I will showcase this to you all in a bit. Uh, the second item I got was a, um, oh yes, pink dress. Hang on one second. Sorry, this wasn't out here, but this is a lovely pink dress that I got from uh, one of my long-term favorite vendors, Norma's. And I think Norma is based in um, Memphis or somewhere down south. I think it's Memphis. Um, and I actually have a black one like this that I wore to the um, Central Regional Conference, but um, I wanted something pink to wear to one of our balls one night. Um, our pink um, glitzy, pink and silver, I think, ball, sneaker ball. And this is made from polyester and, or just 100% polyester. But again, I love the look of it. It has pockets. Don't put a lot of items in them because it has, a, again, the... Um, the um, hem that's sort of um, jagged or um, maybe it's lower in the front and lower, higher in the front and lower in the back, buttoned down the front with little um, glass buttons, but that's what I got from Norma, so that was number two. Let me hang this back up. I hope you could see this. I hope you could see this. Okay, I'll have pictures of that too. The third item I got was, and I have notes because I have to have notes, was this um, very pretty uh, green and white caftan from, again, another one of my favorite vendors, Cedric Smith. He's the young um, artist from Atlanta whose work has been worn by some notable, notable people, um, including some stuff I want to say, or someone, but I just love it because it is very beautiful, very elegant, um, and even though this is green and white, it's actually green and white and a bit of yellow, which is one of my, these green and yellow are two of my mother's favorite colors, so this is just kind of an homage of her, so I wear it and I'm doing the AKA thing, but I'm also doing the mama baby thing, so um, there we go, caftan, and again I will um, and put a picture of this for you all to see, the sleeves might be kind of short appearing, but again the way it hangs, um, it looks long comes the length of your arm or three quarters of the length of your arm. I also have a really gorgeous pink and green one that I got from him uh, maybe a central regional conference several years ago. No, two or three years ago. I'm saying several years ago, but two or three years ago. But again, you will see this too when I um, unload and start wearing some items. Number three item is, um, number four item is Oh, African print skirt. Oh, I love this. Let's get over here really quickly. This is from 
This item is from um, Digging My Roots. And I'm so happy that I was able, finally able to afford to be able to um, patronize her. And not that her materials are off the chain, they're not. But just that by the time, sometimes you make it around the vendor's market, you've already exhausted your little budget. So you probably should look before you buy, but hmm. All right, let's try that. So I started looking, um, uh, yeah, and then was pretty done in a minute. But I am um, actually got this one day because I had confused two days' colors and was not going to be buying anything else green because green, I'm not the green side of the shield. I'm the pink side of the shield, and I'm done with green, greened out. Um, but wanted something pink and green, wanted something green to wear, kind of an honor, but also wanted something more pink. And saw this and this was the perfect mix so got my pink and green I can wear um, I actually wore to church yesterday with a white top without the aka um, but you can wear to chapter meetings anything aka you can wear it anywhere but um, church work and again when I wear it to work in church I will probably swap out the aka and just wear a white I think yesterday it was a long sleeve um, sort of knit cotton shirt or a long sleeve button-down cotton shirt but that's what I got from um, Digging my roots and her stuff is really great and looked great. It was lined. When was the last time you got a skirt or a dress that was lined? It's lined. So I wore my slip, but she also had the lined, and that just felt really nice. Had, they have really nice pockets. It has a bow a tie, or a tie that you can wear. And hers came with this really jazzy pink bag. So, you know, of course you want that. But that was that that was really great i'll also insert a picture with that um i also when i was there got some um books from some aka journal some aka um oh, development books so i guess you could, could consider it professional development something on election leadership development um international communications and risk management etc etc so again need that for my little library this again is our um our um, 71st, 71st Boulay um, t-shirt. I did not wear mine. Unfortunately, it's probably going to go into the t-shirt drawer and it'll just be there, but it's very pretty. Um, it has the Soaring Sisterhood Shield, um, Soaring Degree to Heights of Service and Sisterhood Shield with the 20 pearls and the ivy, um, the ivy leaf jetting, jetting off from the um, torch. Again, from Kindle's Greek, and again, they make really wonderful stuff. I've gotten some really nice things from them, including um, one of my um, travel bags. One of my this garment. is an item that was a gift from, I think this came from the last night, uh, the uh, 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 gowns and uh, gym shoes, uh, gowns and sneaker ball, just a gift. Um, and it's just a, another shoe bag, um, the olive green. That just says soaring to greater heights of sister of service and sisterhood again with the soaring uh sisterhood soaring into greatness crest okay this was another gift that came from this i think came from the eaf the education advancement for foundation luncheon again it matches our boule bag our tote bag if you haven't seen this it says alpha kappa alpha sorority incorporate not sure if you can see that but that's what it says um, i think it's a makeup kit um, so you know me, I'm trying to find new uses for it, but it might just wind up being a makeup kit or a toiletries kit. Um, it's bottom is sort of wherever you put it. I guess that's the bottom, but anything you put in, there's a small, um, zipper section here, very small for whatever you would put in there. Uh, but again, it doesn't have a very secure bottom, but on um, whatever you want to put in there, but it has pockets on the side, little pockets on the side. Um, and whatever you put in there, you know, it's a soft leather, so it's going to just kind of sit wherever you have stuff, so whatever's in there is probably going to spill out. But again, this is the uh, makeup kit, uh, toiletries kit that was a gift from the EAF luncheon. This is what our badge and lanyard this year looked like, again, matching the, um, boule tote bag. And on the back it just says Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Inc. A little crest, a little registered mark. And I turned my badge around, but that's um, that was what we got there. Uh, these are some items that we got from various events. Oh, I don't, I don't remember where this exactly came from. The Miracle Moisture Free Shampoo and... Hang on a second.
the and here's some other items. I'm not really sure where they came from, but this is the Moisture Miracle Aloe and Coconut Water Detangle and Condition Free Shampoo from Price African African Pride actually African Pride. And this is uh, the Moose Death and We Wait We Want Easy Texture Tamer and Texture Foam from the Dew. Uh, I don't remember where I got them. I wish I would know where I got them, but I just don't remember. They were probably a gift from one of the events, but again, but we got that. Um, as you might have seen earlier, if you watched the video on the um, tote bag, this was in our tote bag as a gift. Again, some rice water from Yell, some tissues from Soaring Sisterhood with the Soaring Sisterhood logo. Those are probably not going to use. Uh, a button, a boat. Um, take four or more and 24 vote. Just do it, y'all. Just vote. And again, a Miel. Um, what is this thing? What is this, this thing? Miel something or the other. Whew, I got to look at and see what that is. Hmm. I never heard someone say that's a, a, a head scarf or something. I'll open it up now and see. I haven't opened it up yet. Let's see. What it is. It is a Ooh, it is. It's like a bonnet. Oh, isn't that cute? With a drawstring. Oh yes, that's very cute. Oh, that's really great. So this is from Miel, a golden a bonnet. Miel with a drawstring. So it probably fits maybe even like locks. It's a big one. So this is really great. I'm glad I opened that. All right there, Miel. That's cute. I'll drawstring this back and I will use that. And again, this was something we got from Mary Kay, and this was a pedicure set. And I think that was like a lavender or um, a scenters or lilac scent. So that was really great. That came with the um, boule tote bag. Um, and this is something I got the last night there after the banquet, actually. This vendor might be someone called Pure Lips. Pure, pure Lip. And there was someone there who was debuting or showcasing an absolutely stunning rose gold or gold of lexus i think it was a lexus suv and so they gave us this little pouch outside that and these are lip liners from again pure lips or pure lip uh lip liner and, and another one of my really favorite things i got it's here looking all cute and folded but it's been worn a few times was a um loungewear from the company called Sorority Intimates and Clothing Company out of Houston. I met them uh, probably one of my last nights, or maybe the night before my last night there. And I got this. I really wasn't going to buy anything. I'd been looking at it, but I wasn't going to buy anything. But I got this really comfortable looking uh, pajama lounge set. I'm trying to figure out what the fabric is. It has a really nice feel, though. I almost don't want to wash it because I feel like when I wash it, I'm going to wash away some of the sheen is it feels like a cotton um a cotton silk but it is very pretty this is a large green buttons down the center the cut typically long things uh are too long for me but the way this is cut it's beautiful for me i don't have to cut anything it falls right at my ankles um it had a drawstring in there i've got to go and restring it the drawstring is a satin ribbon so it fell out but you guys know if you you ladies know if you put a a pin in the bottom of the the string you can put it through the hole and restring it so i will do that but that just tells you i've been living in it for a few a few days but um again there's a gold very gold a very thin green line down the center down the side beautiful pockets i think i even put like some credit cards debit cards in there because i was doing something and just kind of stuck them in the pockets and was like oh this is really great but but but, but to remember they're there and again, there we go. Let's see if I can figure out what the fabric is. Yeah, I can't really see with these glasses on. I'll, let, I'll put it in the description box. But this was absolutely really nice. I love this. This is one of the best gifts. And again, as I said, as you can see, most of the items I got were clothing. And they are multi-purpose use clothing. So items that I will really get use out of uh, other places. Other types of sister. Soaring to Greater Heights of Service and Sisterhood uh, with the uh, Den Dennett Anthony Reed Administration logo on it. Um, it came with an eyesore pin 
uh, with a little pearl in it. Uh, they also gave us while we were there this little medallion uh, that um, is from the Boule. And if I remember correctly, back in the old bag that they gave us, there might have been a pin from that Boule too. So it's almost kind of like that um, the the girlhood sash that you got and you put your different pins on when you did different service activities or visited different places. So I'm going to put this medallion on there at some point. Um, I also, again, went to the EAF luncheon, as I told you, and I got the EAF pin. That's one of my pet charities, maybe. Um, and so I'm going to put this on there, too. It doesn't have a year on it, but I'll put that on there. Um, and at some point during the conference, there was a chance for you to exchange buttons with SARS, with sisters. Maybe next time I go, I'll grab some uh, buttons that speak to AKA in the state that I'm in uh, to trade with the different sisters who will be there. But again, this is the um, new pink sash with the um, Danette Anthony Reed sisterhood uh, pendant on it. I'm trying to see. You can actually take this off, I think. I think you can take it off. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you can take it off. I think you can. And so if you want to exchange the other one and put this on the white one, I put the white one on this one, I'm sure you can. If they're not the same, they might not be the same. This is a gift I got from one from a sewer I met who was from Korea, the international region. She uh, it was act, is actually stationed in Korea, but she's going to be moving back stateside, I think in a few weeks or a few months, maybe by August. And she gave everyone at the table, most of us strangers to her, a little gift. And this is just a wine bottle decoration, but it's a cute little um, sort of apple green and pink. Um, looks like a little dress outfit, but you put it over a bottle of wine. So that'd be really cute. And uh, one of the last things that I picked up, and I hope this is everything, that I got there, was, and I felt so special. Uh, during one of the luncheons, we had a puzzle piece that we were to work on for um, um, to create sisterhood in my little table. We actually put this puzzle together. If you um, watch the rest of the video, you'll see the inset of the, um, mm, smelling that, what the puzzle looks like. But that little pink heart there, for one of the chairs at the table, they put a little pink heart on a chair. So that meant you got to take the puzzle. We couldn't find out who had the pink heart on, on her chair. So one of the sisters looked at my chair and she was like, oh, you have it. So I got to get the a puzzle, the puzzles of color, again, made by a company designed by an AKA, a woman of AKA. And this is the elevating the strength of our sisterhood. That's what the puzzle looked like. And we got it done and probably... Um, I know, 20 minutes or so, there was a main sister there who had a strategy, Strategy though. So they sort of partition, uh, partitioned off the, um, or parceled out the pieces to different sorrows, different sisters at the table for us to work on. And we got it done again um, while we were there at the lunch. So, again, this is my AKA haul from the 2024 a.k.a. Boulay, the 71st, a.k.a. Boulay in Dallas, Texas. Thank you for watching, and I'm just double-checking my notes. And I think I got everything from my notes. So, all right. Thank you for watching, and just stay tuned. I'll be trying on some of the outfits momentarily.